first of all, I want to clean here and figure out if there is something else for me to do. And then we're going to start welding. I see lots of uh, club welds that I still need to make here. And here, we need to put the body mounts. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Alright, it looks like this is not going to be too much fun. So I'm going to save you the struggle here to stay with me. I'm going to clean this area and I'm going to bring you back. Alright, so that's after, I don't know, probably an hour and a half of uh, needle scaling and scraping and just trying to clean this but it's it's weird because this uh, tar in some areas it just chips off with the needle scaler very easy but in some areas it is like uh, it's oily from the differential obviously and it is like uh, mud you can't really chip it off because it's not solid Anyway, so in some areas I have to scrape it and some areas I have to needle scale it and it uh, just comes easy. But anyways, so what I'm finding is little holes like this. You see here I need to repair this. Here, I don't know what happened. Um, I'm gonna have to further investi investigate that. There are a few holes that are obviously not original. These two, these two these two and these two looks like they are for a uh, row bar i don't think it's a good idea to fasten your row bar to the body but anyways uh, so here around the this is the boat for the gas tank i think and it's snapped off so we have to clean it and weld it weld back the nut or another nut there's a repair that needs to be done here uh, here a little bit i think i had the exact same repair on my gt6 or maybe it was another car, I don't remember, but there was something like that somewhere that I repaired. And going down here, I don't see anything else wrong. Oh, here, this mount, I cut it when I was repairing this on the inside. I didn't know that there was this bracket underneath, so I cut it off. And not that it's a big deal, but I want to repair it and uh, make it look like original. And that's it for this area. Doesn't look too bad. Actually, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep going here, cleaning up this, and down, down there, and up there. And it looks like this is gonna be everything that I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. That's fine, needs to be done.
All right, I think with this side we're done. I mean, I can uh, flip it to the other side and do a little bit more down there. And that wheel well needs to be cleaned and this wheel well actually needs to be cleaned. Not that it's in a bad shape. I mean, there's still residues from the undercoating. So we want to clean that. So turns out that where there was tar, it was really working well. I'm really surprised actually that uh, the body is in such a good shape in these areas where there was tar because remember what the frame looked like? It was invisible. So um, somehow the frame took all the damage, but not the body. Well, you remember the, the floors were missing too, but that's another story. But here in this area, I'm surprised that it's in such a good shape. Well, there are problems here and there, but we're gonna deal with them. Remember, we still have to fix this. Turned out I opened a little bit of a gap there, but that's why I'm, I'm telling all people who are advising me to do sandblasting. I think sandblasting is way too dusty and way too labory. With this uh, needle scaler, I do the same thing. I reach all the nooks and crannies and uh, wherever there's uh, weak metal, it goes away. So anyways, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it to the other side. I'm gonna clean there as well because there are some areas that I couldn't reach before. Like here, this wasn't cleaned at all. So I cleaned this now. Uh, so on the other side, we have to do the same. I cleaned over there too inside so we have to do the same here and inside looks like there's a little hole on the battery tray i thought the battery tray didn't need work but actually it does so that yeah i'm gonna flip it to the other side as well before i start welding and doing stuff i'm gonna flip it to the other side i'm gonna clean it completely i can do all the welds and repairs and once it's done maybe we can even paint the bottom before we flip it back down yeah i think we can do that so it's flipped to the other side and now <clears throat> we're gonna clean this and this so this is the last tar that is left i'm gonna clean it this is now the part that is repaired a long time ago and still needs to be welded. So in this position, it's so much easier to be welded. So you see now why I left it for later. The front, it's the same thing. This needs to be cleaned still and the whole entire wheel well. And then we're gonna do all the welding that's required underneath and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so this is pretty much done and a few other things that I found that I need to weld, like here this corner needs to be welded, here I think eh, I need to do something about this gap, I need to weld it. Um, here this seal, when I was uh, taking out the inner seals and the, and the floor, Obviously I damaged this, so this needs to be repaired. I need to cut out a piece and make a flange, so maybe we can get rid of this temporarily and get a piece here. And that's it. Here we need to do some repairs before we weld it to the floor. <laughs> this corner needs to be replaced. And of course, like I said here, in this corner and this is the same as the other side and when i buzzed it with the needle scaler there's another hole opened here so we're gonna have to repair that here this flange I need to straighten it and need to weld it because i replaced this piece and i didn't weld here and yeah and then all the spot welds here you know, every hole that I see everywhere, I'm gonna have to plug in the entire bottom. So there's a lot of work actually. It's not like, oh, 
we're almost done. There is a lot of work underneath. And of course, after that, we have the windshield frame, which is over there on the floor, on the wall. And the two doors, the bottom of the two doors, I believe needs attention. All right, so um, I've done a little bit of work. So just a quick update. Um, I welded a little bit here, a little bit more. I only welded, I haven't ground anything. Well, mostly anything, I ground some parts, but now I see here a pink hole that I need to weld later. Um, yeah, I welded the floor here at this corner, welded this part. Uh, what else? I welded here. There were some pink holes here and here, so I welded those. Welded here, welded there, welded here. Uh, the floor, this I'm gonna do when I flip the car to the other side because it's gonna be easier. This was pretty easy here. Once we grind it, it's gonna be fine. I took the wing off from here and I welded the piece here. I still have to grind. And here we're mostly done. I haven't touched that yet. It's amazing how little work I've done and half a day is gone already. Anyway, uh, then I plugged, I plugged these holes here. I plugged these holes here, the ones down there, there and there. And these ones I'm going to do later when I flip the car around. Uh, I took this flange off because it was like a pretty big chunk of this flange was rusted. So I took it off. Uh, there was a hole here. So I welded that and put the flange back on. But now I need to go to the other side and hammer a little bit. Or maybe I can run self-tapping screws here and pull them together before I do the plug welds. Uh, and now I just made this piece, which is to replace this. I still need to paint here. And then I'm gonna put this piece and I'm gonna weld it back there. And yeah, haven't done anything there yet. But I guess for there, I'm gonna co wheel to watch because it's gonna be interesting, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, little work, but lots of time. Anyway, so I think next, um, for a change, I'm gonna finish this here because it doesn't look too bad, because it doesn't look great. And I think I need to grind here a little bit, but here not too much. So you know what, guys, first I'm gonna start by grinding it into a straight line because now it is not a straight line. So I'm going to grind it into a straight line and then we will see if we have um, like areas like here where the top metal is too short, then I'm going to have to extend it. So I'm going to grind it and I'm going to weld another piece and then grind it down to the level of this so it looks nice. We have to grind all this, we have to figure out what's going on here with the brazing. So yeah, let's try and make this seem look a little better. Right, that, that looks better. Now, <clears throat> I ground the top surface and then I ground this way and now the only problematic area is here and i think i'm just gonna fill this up with weld i know some people are complaining some people don't like the fact that i fill up areas with weld but i don't think it's a it's a problem for such a small thing here i can just weld it and then grind it and it's gonna look like this so it's not bad and then we're gonna do the final grinding this way so we can make it a perfect straight line. And of course, there's gonna be some body filler to fill up some small imperfections here and there. But for now, I think it's not bad. So we'll fill it up with weld, fill up some little cavities that I saw here and there. And 
we're gonna grind these as well. Uh, smoking, smoking is bad. And yeah, so let me grind it. Okay, that's as best as it could be. I think, at least for my skills, it doesn't look too bad. Like I said, a little bit of body filler, like a bucket or two, and it's gonna be fine. Anyways, it's a straight line. It's, it's not really rough. There's here and there areas which need to be filled up with body filler, like here, for example. But it's not too bad. Anyways, that's where we're gonna leave this. And now I think it's time to deal with this drive shaft tunnel, I guess. And you see it has some ripped areas here. So first of all, I think I'm gonna clamp it. I'm gonna push it in. I'm gonna clean it, of course. We have to straighten this. And I'll try, hopefully, the spot welder will I will be able to tuck it here and once it's spot welded I'm gonna cut out these areas and I'm gonna replace them and the top I'm gonna fix when we flip it to the other side so for now I'm gonna deal with this side only well we can spot weld this one in place too that's not a problem but if there are any areas that need to be repaired we're gonna repair them later Somebody come and clamp this, please, while I'm holding it this way. <laughs> uh, okay. So now we can bend this the proper way need to clean a little bit we can bend this nicely do all the spot welds and cut out the parts that need to be repaired and repair it wasn't easy but it is all spot welded here and here so now we're gonna I cut out also the damaged areas here and I'm gonna make the repairs now I think like I'm gonna weld this here I'm gonna bend it and then I'm gonna cut out the rest same here or here so yeah let's make these repairs and where I have small repairs to do, like these old, or maybe that's a new, well, that burned through. That spot weld burned through. But I have some old spot welds here that were ripped. So, and this one burned through also. I hold a little bit too much with the spot welder, but I'm gonna learn. Anyways, so, so these I'm just gonna fill up with weld, and I think we're gonna be done with this side, with this side soon. Okay, I would consider this side done. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it is hidden under the car, so. I want the car to look nice underneath too, but uh, I think that's more than enough. Anyway, so this other side we're gonna do when we flip the car around. We'll see if there's anything there to be repaired. And uh, for now, 
we are done with this area. Um, what should we do next? I think uh, I don't like it, but I have to go in that corner. Well, this little repair actually turned out it was a can of worms, as Chef Tash calls his favorite areas in his 250. So we're gonna leave it for the next video because there's gonna be a lot of work there actually, more than expected. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Thanks for commenting and subscribing as usual. And uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.